What's going on, people? It is your boy Svenny D bringing you some Destiny. This is going to be a little bit of a different video than what I've been bringing you guys for the last couple of days. Um, I'm actually going to be reviewing my character right here. He is a male titan, a human titan at that. Um, he's level 20 now. I've maxed him out as far as the level cap goes. I still have to uh, get some more light armor to level him up even more and if any of you guys are wondering that is the way that you actually upgrade your character past level 20 um, you can see right here light allows you to increase your level above 20 increase your light by finding and equipping armor which contains light I have two pieces of that right now I have knight armor type 1 which has plus 10 light and I have knight type 3 leg armor which has plus nine light so I'm still gonna be looking for some more armor containing light that way I can level my character up a little bit more um, I just want to give you guys a basic rundown of my Titan at level 20 so you guys can kinda of see what they're working with here um, I've put in some work into the striker and the defender subclass you can see right here I have a ton of shit unlocked for the striker Still a little ways to go, but uh, we're getting there. Probably, I'd say another day or two of grinding, and uh, the striker class is probably going to be done. The defender class, on the other hand, I have a long ways to go still. Probably a few days yet for that to get maxed out. But um, I gotta say, both classes are really, really good. I really enjoy using both of them. Um, they have a lot of perks depending on which one you use. Obviously, the defender class is better in defensive situations, or if you want to take things a little bit more cautiously, where the striker class is where you just want to go balls out and try to destroy everything in your way. Um, these are the weapons that I have right now. Pretty good weapons. A lot better than I had a couple of days ago. Um, I like to carry one of every kind of weapon. So I have an auto rifle, a hand cannon, a scout rifle, and a pulse rifle. Um, you can see three of these items are now rare. They, uh, just stuff I've accumulated through playing through the story mode mostly. Um, the special weapons I have. I got a couple of fusion rifles, a shotgun, and a sniper rifle. You can see they all have pretty decent base damage and for my heavy weapons I have a rocket launcher and a machine gun. I've had more weapons than I can even tell you but um, those are kind of just what I have right now. Um, my armor also kind of weeded through everything, got the best of the best. Highlander Type 0 has a 139 base defense plus 57 strength the Raku Fulcrum Type 3 Gauntlets. These have a 135 base defense with a 146 max. Now you get the plus 5 light and the plus 64 discipline, which is amazing. Uh, two perks that come along with this are increased reload speed with auto rifles and melee hits replenish grenade energy. The chest armor I have is Knight Type 1, 223 base defense light plus 10 discipline plus 95 you can carry more ammo for a shotgun carry more ammo for pulse rifles pretty groovy and then the knight type 3 leg armor plus 9 light and plus 88 discipline um, this armor is stout I absolutely love it I was running the Highlander type 0 armor all the way through until I actually unlocked this shade which we'll go through um, you can see a couple of the different class armors that I have <clears throat> right here. Just a couple of different ones that I've accumulated. Um, I really liked hitting level 20 because I just I have really bad OCD. And when my armor doesn't match, it really just bugs the shit out of me. So it was really nice getting the, uh, the shader in there, which you're going to see down here. I don't have any other ghost shells right now, just the standard one. I got a couple different vehicles, um, nothing too, too crazy there, a couple of different ships, actually no, I forgot I got rid of my other ones, uh, this is the only ship I have right now, now these are the shaders that I have, pretty sweet stuff, like I said I have bad OCD, so being able to have all my um, armor consistent is much better for myself, you can see without the shader, this is what we're working with. It actually doesn't look that bad. I really like the knight armor that he has. Um, when I get all knight armor, I actually might run that. And then this is a polar oak one. I don't remember buying this, but I don't know if it came standard or if I did buy it. I'm not really sure on that. It is for sale at the marketplace. But um, I really like this jester apogee. 
I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. And then I have a few emblems here. The Rising, Officer Crest, and Jade Rabbit Insignia. They say Jade, that Jade Rabbit Insignia up in the top right hand corner. They said it's supposed to be a rare one. Except three friends, four friends on my friends list have it. So, um, I don't know how rare that is. You can see, obviously, the inventory is going to be class-specific. A couple of bounties that I'm working on, some consumables. If you guys weren't sure, you can actually go and use your consumables for certain perks. Uh, like this Black Wax Idol, a mishap and figure that translates, uh, transmutes into glimmer as you strike down hive enemies. Lasts a short time, definitely not made of wax. You have resupply codes, allows your ghost tap to tap into transmat networks to draw more glimmer out of cable en enemies. Um, you got the ether seeds, ghosts draw more glimmer out of fallen enemies, and you have the blue polyphage, ghosts gather more glimmer from vex enemies. So a nice little uh, accumulation of things. Um, all these items over here, you can use them for different um, armors and weapons, I believe. I'm pretty sure like the mode of light, the strange coin, and the, I thought there was, oh, Ascendant Energy, those can be used for the different factions, I believe, to purchase different weapons and whatnot. But, um, that's my level 20 Titan, that is the only character that I'm running right now. He is, uh, he's pretty badass, you can see I'm running a base defense of 644 right now, so, he does some work, and if you guys weren't sure, too, you can see how these have, like, the plus 95 Discipline. Um, there's intellect and strength. If you guys weren't sure exactly on what those did, you can look right here. Intellect reduces the cooldown time of Fist of Havoc, allowing you to use it more often. You have discipline, which decreases the cooldown time of your grenades, allowing you to use them more often. And strength, which reduces the cooldown time of Storm Fist. So, um, pretty much, you know, I was kind of lost in a lot of this stuff at first, but as you go through, you start discovering what's used for what and um it's a uh, pretty pretty useful stuff and you can see here obviously we already went through this light allows you to increase your level above 20 so hope you guys enjoyed this video just a little update video on the character that i'm currently running on destiny leave me some comments and recommendations in the comments below on anything else you'd like to see and until next time it is your boy Svenny d and i am out Peace.